This is the UVC module out of a water filter, and it was sent by Robert, who gets a routine replacement for his bench top, his countertop water filter. And if you look at the instructions for these, it's a Strauss water filter, otherwise rebadged as a Virgin Pure, where you can sign up to a subscription service and they'll send you a new tube every year for water clarification. But it's a modular system that this is actually points up the way. And you lift the lid in the unit and you can just grip this, you can pull it out, and then you can pop the new tube in, turn it until it clicks down, and that's you installed a new germicidal lamp. Makes it very easy. But when I was looking at this, I was thinking, that looks very much like a standard 6 watt T5 lamp there. And it's an interesting construction. I kind of thought that maybe because of this bulky base here, that they might have a little electronic ballast in it, because that would be great. It means that you'd replace all the electronics and the lamp at the same time. However, this bit at the end, I've had this open, incidentally. This is a take two because I discovered something very interesting after I'd made the video when I was saying, yeah, you could change a tube in this yourself. I don't think you can. I shall explain why in a moment. Let me see if I can get this out without causing terrible things to happen to fingers. So this, when it comes out, is pretty much empty. I was kind of hoping it was going to have the electronics ballast in it because that would have just been superb for replacing everything at once. But if you pull the end off, and this is not easy to get off in the first place because it's all glued in, it reveals these wires, and these little push-on terminals that are uh, have wires wrapped around them. So, for instance, this little wire at the top, I've already burst one in. That's a, a little peril of a... I'll just cut that because it doesn't really matter anyway now. But it's got these little push-on terminals, and these two wires that run up to the end of the tube for the heater are just basically twisted round them, and then this is glued on with some resin. At the other end, this tube pulls out quite a tight fit to reveal the circuit board. I can pop this out now. has these two very long, kind of split pinish type things. I'll zoom down this a little bit. It's got these two long split pin type contacts that make connection with the end of the tube. It basically slots in like that. And uh, if you look down the end of that, it's got a sort of in moulded in guides for that, for separation. And it's got six pins around it. The reason it's got six pins is you've got two to the heater at this end, two to the heater at the other end, but you've also got a pair that are just linked together. I think that's a safety circuit and also to indicate to the machine that someone's pulled that out and it can say no water, uh, no UVC lamp in use. Um, so I thought, well, that's okay. It, it's a, just a standard 6-watt germicidal lamp. You can pick these up for £5 as opposed to £55 for the module that I saw on eBay. Uh, but it turns out that, no, you could have got the... If it had been a normal tube, you could have got the standard one for £5. You could have gone for the branded hose lock germicidal lamp, UVC lamp, for... Um, about eight to ten pounds, but you'd have got a prominent lamp. Uh, things are worth your mention, mentioning about this. This is a special glass that passes UVC light. The UVC light is mostly unnatural on Earth. It's blocked by the ozone layer. But uh, you, if you, part of the reason they have this interlock system is to stop people ever exposing themselves to this because this will cause eye damage and it will cause skin burns. It is a, a germicidal. That's the whole function of it is it kills living stuff and that's what it does when you, you this probably goes in a quartz sleeve with water passing down the outside or it's probably a water tank inside maybe but it allows the uvc to pass through and it kills all the bugs in the water however i took this tube out so tantalizingly identical but not really and i got the meter and just thought you know just just to try this out I'll check the resistance of the heaters just to see if it is a standard tube. So here is a standard tube. And the resistance of the heaters is round about, say, 12 to 13 ohms. This tube is not standard. If I put the uh, meter across the ends of these, it displays, if we can keep the probes on, it's only about 2 or 3 ohms. Uh, which means it's a non-standard tube. The heaters are lower voltage. Uh, I'm not sure what would happen. It might damage the unit if you put a standard tube in, which may be their intent. Um, 
That's a shame. I guess it's optimised for some electronic ballast that has auxiliary heater windings that just put out a lower voltage to uh, to the ends of these to actually keep them hot and in the emissive state. But it does, unfortunately, rule out the idea of putting just a cheap £5 tube in. It means you're going to have to splash out your 50 quid or so for the official thing. But it's an interesting construction. It's reason enough, I'm not sure, that most houses need UVC sterilisation of the water in their kitchen. Certainly not... Uh, in the, Isle of, in the Isle of Man in Scotland, the water is extremely pure. It's like basically bottled water comes out the tap. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's an interesting approach. It's certainly, it, in places where the water is contaminated, it definitely has an effect. It's, it kills all sorts of bacteria in the water. But that was interesting. It was worth taking apart and seeing the construction. It's quite neat. A very expensive implementation, though, of a six-watt germicidal lamp. But having said that, it does, you know, it does tick the box of being able to be installed by absolutely anybody without the technical knowledge of how the lamps work or the how to connect end caps, things like that, and avoid exposing themselves. It's just a sort of foolproof way of actually putting a new lamp in. So in that sense, it's actually quite interesting as a product.